The debrief took the number two train all the way up to the Bronx to host us community college because we wanted to meet the New York State Professor of the Year, Reese Shad. Congratulations, Professor. Thank you very much. And you already have your mic, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, all right. I want to get this right. You were named such by the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching and the Council for Advancement and Support of Education. Tell That's the viewers right. a little bit about what you teach here and a little bit about the program you designed. Uh, well, I teach media development uh, in a host of different uh, venues and mediums. So we've got digital music production, we have animation, game design, and more traditional graphic design and web design. But there's so much more to the story because you found a way, I guess, to connect with the students. You recently helped win a grant for more than $600,000 to help students particularly learn math and science. Talk a little bit about that. Well, my colleague Catherine Lewis and I developed uh, an NSF grant to basically frame mathematics, remedial mathematics, and remedial science courses uh, with game design and game play. So so engaging the student in what they're very interested in to tackle subjects that they may be afraid of or have had experience in the ba in the in their past that wasn't so positive. Ninety percent of the students who come into Hostos need a remedial class in at least one subject uh, and Carnegie cited you for that. Well th that was I guess part of what they were paying attention to when they I, I, I still kind of feel like maybe it was a typo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so I, I, I'm just I, I, I always like to say it's I'm really honored by this however the only reason that I can be honored is because of all my colleagues that are supportive of the work we're doing and are working with me. Absolutely. You've been very candid about your background and your upbringing that perhaps prepared you for this. At 11, you said you had hyperactivity disorder and you self-medicated in your words. Talk a little bit about that. I think when you've gone through the experience of uh, finding new ways of uh, educating yourself, I mean, I had to pull myself out of some serious stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of my students have had that kind of an experience. So I think there's kind of a something simpatico there. You said you want the students to understand that art creativity doesn't necessarily mean poverty. How are you connecting with them with gaming and how are you getting them excited about this? Well, first of all, I think gaming is is, is a pretty easy sell, right? right? Um, mm -hmm. Most of our students are involved with gaming and the concept of now being able to take that gaming and make a career out of it. I mean, all of our media programs are here to really kind of let students understand that following their passion does not mean being a starving artist later. All right, well, let's take it to the students real quick. Some of the professor students are here. What makes this guy a great guy? So to speak? Um, well, he knows all our names. He <laughs> okay, that's, that's good. <laughs> he he always knows our problems. He wants to know what we're doing, and he's always worried about us. Uh, we all come from different backgrounds of music, different genres, and he always takes us and pushes up, pushes us to the max, um, and supports us. For me, Risha is like the first person to really believe in me, and so I think a lot of people like may have uh, that experience, and he's just amazing, and it gives you the passion for what you want to do. He's very charismatic, and you can see his ambition and passion in music, and he will take time to work with the students. If you have any questions, he like is very straightforward and very honest, and I respect that in him. Wow, how about that? We talk a lot about our educators and the problems in education. Here's a professor, New York State professor. So you get to come back to me when I'm crying. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> me too. All right, we'll be back on the debrief. That was beautiful, man. Thanks.